Hi everybody. I'm going to try and share my Christmas smashbook with you. I I'm going to call this done, but as I was looking through it this morning, I flagged all the spots I needed to flag as far as the names and such. Um and when I was looking through, I was like, oh, maybe I could do a little bit more here and a little bit more there. You'll see it right away in the first few pages. Um, not with the layouts, more with like the picture insert pages. I feel like I'm going to add a little bit more. But um, I'm calling this done. And if anything, I might just do an Instagram or maybe I'll do like a quick blog post if I add any extras. But the video is going to be the uh, done flip through. So let's just go ahead and get started because it's probably going to be long. Okay, so the inside I left blank. Then, now you'll notice some of the pages are going to be missing. You guys know that I can't stand extra pages because look how thick it is already. And I definitely took out at least six pages, six double pages. Well, you'll see. So I left the first page blank. And then this is, was another page, this white sheet was another page, and I went ahead and added um, um, the list for the top 10 tunes, so you'll see there, those are the top 10 tunes. I really didn't do much, I just wrote them out with the with the marker that comes with um, the Smash set, it comes with the Christmas, you know, the Smash books. Then I just added, this guy will look familiar because he is actually from... Um, one of the December daily cards and I tried to link all that together kind of deal just so it would really work I feel so I just added a little bit of this a little bit of that nothing crazy now this next page here was kind of like you know the letters that people used to do like telling about what was happening throughout the year that's what this is here so um these little flags just have the kids names on it so I just put it right there um and one extra thing was I, I hand wrote that all out. I sized it up and figured out how much. And underneath this page right here, underneath that, you can see um, kind of right here is the transparency that from that first page, you know, when it comes in. So that transparency is what I use here. So I didn't want to lose that effect by doing the whole, I wanted to, to have a frame around the writing. And I just basically, I finished basically the letter per se. And then this part is just now telling about the book. It says in this book, some of our December is captured. Some of our December is captured. For the rest, it will have to, we, for the rest, we'll have to resort to our memories. And then I just dated it. I think, I think that doesn't look right, but whatever. <laughs> Whatever, it was late. Um, and in this one, I just have a little enamel dot on it, a little sticker. Um, that's the back, a little washi tape, because the, the back is going to be seen, so I wanted it kind of neat. So um, that washi tape is actually holding this because it's so thin. And that's really it. And I just mounted it. And I just tucked it in underneath here to staples. And then I just made a little corner thing that says memories and then happy holidays there and then the little embellishment that is on here that actually ate up a lot of space here for writing which I was like oh but I did it first because I was like I really want something on there and I obviously don't want to cover the writing so I went ahead and did a little um wood veneer a sticker I stamped that was the first thing I stamped with my colored different color markers was this um stamp here um, then a candy cane, some holly, and I really mixed like the brighter, the whites, because you know there's white on the page and there's definitely um, a beige on the page, but I left it like that because I thought it looked good. So this next page is blank. This next page is the group that has um, the pictures, the two picture, the picture pockets, and that one still needs something. This is blank. This I did. Um, I think I did a share on that, so I'm not going to go in depth really. But this is I, this is the first page that I did. First page? I believe it was the first page that I did. December 11th, we had some snow. Well, we had snow left over from the 10th, so that was at the bus stop. Blank page here. Then, um, well, this is kind of supposed to be covering. 
children. So you guys saw this one. I did this one. Um, this is the kids' uh, first and kindergarten parties. And that was on the 19th. My slash book is not in order of date. I just did it and how I like the pages. This one right here is a teacher card layout. I think I definitely did a share on that one. So but if you want to see some of the layers... Uh, this is glued right on top of this puffy sticker. It's not a puffy, but it's like definitely dimensional. You can see there's height there. The, the owl sticks up in the backgrounds below it. So, and that actually came up. I had to hot glue gun that. So it kind of like melted into that <laughs> later points. Okay. And the next one is, um, just talking about the December daily cards that I did. Um, these are my two favorite ones from them. And then I just embellished them. I really cut them down. A lot of the, um, a lot of the pictures were cut down. Uh, very rarely are there a four by six in here. Maybe this one that might be a four by six, but it's hidden underneath anyway. But uh, these are these are this actually was an Instagram picture that I cut down still. And then this one is a four by six that I cut down. And so this page is actually the santa page but mounted on another page so that santa page was ripped out also and a little enamel dot there there's a, a snowflake underneath that heart you know then this is when we went with my uh what sammy helps his friend out pick up a christmas tree and we have uh sam has a truck so uh it was a 14 foot christmas tree and you you really can't see how big it is okay that's a that, no that's a guy that's my husband on top can you see that that's sammy on top of the truck <laughs> right there okay and then that's the tree so that's the tip of the tree here and it's going all the way and has like a roof bed so it's pretty doesn't look big but when you get when you see it in the house it's humongous but they have like um they have a really big like high ceiling so it worked and i just really embellished with um this is the little um deer from the bits from the american uh, crafts bits uh this is a thickers a beautiful tree and these two are on original pages so these two pages were the pages that they were in the smash book this one is says pick me for the trees and it carries over here because this was on the first and this was on the 16th but it made sense because this is us putting up our tree so i took a picture of the smash book uh not the smash book i took a picture of the um card for the day it was december 16th and i actually have it nestled inside um of the tree before any of the decorations were on and oops and then these are the boys just playing just playing while we were doing the tree. So. And then we shopped for on December 16th because actually our lights kind of went out because we've had them for like three years. So they were done and we just have to get new lights. And it says, Tis the season and Jubilee. And I really put that Jubilee there just because we have it here on the frame for the uh, clipboard. I felt like that made sense. This little wood uh, embellishment I got at Michael's really late. Like, uh, um, I did this page on the 26th of January. So, you know. Okay, so the next page is this one. This, I really loved how these came out. Because it does have the pictures inside. So I did Christmas Eve. I did Christmas Day and Christmas Eve on two pages, three pages actually. So I love this. This is so wonderful. Um, sorry, I keep zooming in and out, but so this is just a little tree here. I did some hand um, cut uh, flags or pennants. This is from. Sorry, I'm not really sharing where stuff is from. It's just that I've been doing it for so long, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> but I'm glad it's finished. I'll, I'll put it on the description bar. If you if you want to know where some of these things are, just let me know and I'll tell you. Um, but they keep repeating throughout the book. So if you watch some of the videos that I've done, you'll probably see them in there. So repeating, like I said. Um, so this is the baby 
uh, after we went to church with our friends, the same friends we got the uh, Christmas tree for, we went to church with them, and then we went to dinner after. And this is the baby just chilling out. Glad tidings, it says. Happy holidays with little enamel dot there. Very simple. Then I did the boys. This is Christmas Eve. So the, he was already sleeping. So I took these pictures of the boys in their Christmas pajamas before. And that's... um. Obviously, it says the boys were excited for Christmas Eve. I put this on Instagram, I believe, but I printed it at a 4x6. And then I just rounded the corners. Uh, did I round the corners on that other? Yes, I rounded the corners on that one too. You can see right here. And then I just did some pennants because they're related. So I have the pennants running through them. They're very simple and a little bit of embellishment. This is like a clear, it says joy. It says joy to the world, but it's covered, you know, obviously, you know, layers, 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 Christmas cheer. And then I just did the journaling. This was right underneath Christmas tree without anything underneath it. And then this I just did. This is basically, oh, sorry. This is basically the label for the two pages, Christmas Eve 2013. Did some laying in here. That, I really like that card. I'm going to take this out and show you the card. This is going to be a long video. You kind of know that already. It's already 11 minutes and I'm not even near where I'm going to be. And I just, at, um, the simple stories had, it just had a sheet of all definitions. I just cut out the one around says Christmas day, Christmas Eve, Christmas, and you know, just kind of layered it. That's the only one I didn't do a ban banner for, but, um, it was on purpose. So then I just have be merry underneath here, a little, uh, deer ornaments and the deer here. Look, this deer is looking at this deer on a flower, on a feather. And I just, um, put it on, a piece of paper from the Simple Stories uh, book or pad. And here I just put naughty or nice, didn't even check any, <laughs> you decide. And on here is where I finally got to use uh, the decking the halls because it's a picture of the boys putting up um, their letters because, you know, their initial letters, initial for their name. So we have A putting up A, and then their A is right there too, and then T is putting up T right there. So. Okay, then we jump back to December 10th um, when they had their first snow day. Now, we all know what we've been hit with since Christmas, since, you know, basically since 2014 started. So this snow day, you can see that there is grass still clearly visible. We probably got uh, two inches and they closed school. I We all know, obviously, that's a joke now because <laughs> with all the inches we've gotten since then, an inch is like nothing. And, you know, obviously it was a kind of a wasted day, but we made the most of it. We went out. Uh, this You could see. I don't know if you could see. Let me, no, not in that. Not in that. But the oldest guy, see, I kept that on purpose. It was really hard not to kind of, like, see, it's kind of showing here. But I really wanted to show that he was, like, aiming a snowball at it. And he had no idea. I don't even remember. I think he actually threw it. Um, but it was just really funny because, it's like, that's, like, a good place to put this part in all your nice. And I love that I was able to use this blue because it's so cool and nothing really what going on with, um the collect this book actually but the snow kind of has like a bluey tint to it and then I used um some washi tape underneath here that's blue and up here I'm sorry and up here that's blue so it really ties in and then of course T has the jacket on that has the blue in it so I was able to use a lot of blue ones like in here it's like blue and it was nice and that little flag is from smash the, the regular collection and the title of this one is kind of like it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and snow day because now this these were the original pages that I just mounted on there and I decided to use that so it says jolly here the baby eating first um after we went outside and we came back in it because it was all day was off we decided to make snow uh we decided to make cupcakes so it was the first time the baby had eaten cupcakes and that was December 10th okay Okay, I did a video on this, so I'm not going to go into this too much, but this is the one that I did with the pockets. I'll link it below that you guys can see how I did this layout. Um, and this was on the 18th, so this is like right when we finished putting up all the decorations. He was like the first one 
So I, I love this picture to take, to start taking everything down. So, um, maybe I should kind of put it in order when he's like reaching for it, he grabs it and then he walks away with a totally different one, but whatever. Um, so this was the 18th and I have a book, I have a video process video on this one. So that's what I'm going to stop there. This one I didn't use, but I loved it. I obviously, I was like, I'm not ripping this out. I'm going to leave this one. So I left it. And on the back side, I like this too. Left it um, alone. This, I also did a video on the Alex and Anya. So I did a three-page spread on this. One, I loved this paper. I was like, I refuse to rip it out. And I don't, I, I was trying to do these pictures on here. And there just was not enough room. I was originally going to do on these two, but they didn't. I had wished that they were a double instead of a single. So I was like, this can be like a mini book inside the book, <laughs> you know? So I did this as kind of like the title page. And then I love this little um, detail I did here where it's just ribbon that I found at Michael's, like a lacy ribbon. And I did it over the original page that was in between, I think it was actually in between um, the teal page and this page. So I just kind of did a little pennant and then did the just about the side. I wanted a little bit of a overlap of the gold. Um, yeah, you could see right there. I forgot I didn't tack it down. So um, I wanted a little bit of the overlap so you can kind of play with it and also just see that it's not like it was meant to do that on top. Let's see. So then the next page, um, I think I showed this also. I don't know if I didn't do a, a, a layout, but I did. I didn't do a process video, but I definitely talked about this one. So over here for the pictures, this one is chopped down. This one is a four by four, and so is this one. Uh, this just has basically just the words going on my life and of me and of what I think of when I think of these bracelets and when I wear them you know how they're different um magical not really magical but you know like the energy um uh, the tr I treasure it I'm a mom it commemorates uh uh you know certain events and certain things in my life so this I got these on the 28th Sam and I had a um little date night if you will so, and this I actually printed out on my computer and I used a uh, font that really, that's close to this, that's close to the Tim Holtz words font, but it's more of like a typewriter, like how the E's are filled in. I love that. So, uh, it just says, this is just a journaling. I got introduced to Alex and Anya bracelets by my work crew. I knew that I wanted to get some for Christmas. Thanks to Sammy's hard work, I was able to. So that's all that says. Sorry. That's all that says there. And because it was kind of on a really neutral page, I was able to use a lot of different colors. I think the only thing that kind of stands out to me that looks like, oh, why did I use that? Um, is that pink heart. But I think I was like, okay, well, because I'm relating it to this page and this page had like pinks and purples and stuff in it. Um, I was like, that will fly. That That's okay with me. I feel like it, it's connected. And then I had the washi tape up here. And I did a little washi tape corners. So it's this one, the camera one, and then this one here. That's scotch. I know that for sure. That's scotch. And I think I bought this at Target. I'm not sure what it is. And I have it down here. And I have it here. Little corner things. And then also connecting the ribbon from the other side is right here. Okay, so two separate pages. We'll start with this one. This is the wrapping page. Maybe I actually said, like, five years later. I was like, maybe to make it easier so you can kind of see which page I'm talking about. I'll cover it. Anyway, so this is just a picture that I put on Instagram of all the stuff that I had to wrap. And it was lucky because normally I wrap on the 24th. And I decided I was going to wrap. I didn't want to be bogged down with it on the 24th so I started doing it on the 23rd which was great because then I found that we were going to church on after I finished wrapping I found that we were going to go to church on the 24th and I was like great that's perfect so I think I'm going to start wrapping as I go but I definitely was oh sorry definitely wasn't doing that there so I just want to show you some of the layers 
I actually just add that added this in uh like two days like two days ago or a day ago and I did this back on did I not wait oh I did this back on the 23rd of February so oh that's crazy it's like a totally a month apart haha <laughs> I didn't realize that so this is wrapping so now this page this right here wrapping is another page that I ripped out this is mounted on a piece of simple stories paper let me zoom out simple stories paper and then it's mounted on another sheet so um the other page was the bah humbug page the one that came right before the the this black page with the green uh light bulbs on it so i took apart this page so i'm not even remember which ones i took out but whatever so this one says hello my name is santa claus because obviously we are santa Cla oh yeah i was like wait the kids okay they're at school we we are santa claus so you know and Santa Claus exists. Okay. So next is this page here that I did. Um, this happened on the 9th. Uh, T and I randomly went to uh, TJ Maxx before school started. So he saw this like light up snowman and he was like, oh, it's like a picture. So we went ahead and take a, took a picture right next to um, right by the front door. And he's like holding it. It's cute. So I got to use these puffy stickers that I found. I believe they're Kane Company, but I, f I believe I found them actually at TJ Maxx. And a little potty man with the snowman next to him. So that was cute. And it just says, Tease TJ Maxx Snowman. And I like that I was able to use red and green on this paper because this is the one that says light up already. And this is a like one that you could put in your yard. It's that big, obviously. You can see he's standing next to him. Um, it's a big snowman. And then I was actually able to like bling, like this is one of the, uh, this is just a regular speech bubble um, that I just put on top of it, add this to my wish list. I thought that was cute. And it's like, you know, and I just did a little bit of uh, embellishments on that little sign. And the Vicky, look, it's from you. <laughs> okay, let me keep going. So I didn't fill in even all of these because I'm either going to have to go find some pictures because I literally used all the pictures from Christmas that I wanted to use. This page, I obviously ripped out the other because it was another side that looked exactly like this without any writing. Um, actually, there was a few more pages in between these that I ripped out. This is like the preface to Christmas, so I just left it and obviously I did stuff on the other side. Okay. So now this one, you guys saw this one, is the Christmas cookies. I did a layout for that. I'm not even going to go into that because this video is getting long. Then now this page is the first one for like the day of Christmas. So wait a minute. There we go. Sorry. So this is a picture of all of the gifts laid out. And then this one says, let the fun begin right as we're starting to open. I snapped the picture. And then, now these are all kind of related. So now these are just pictures. So this is another picture of them just getting started. And this is after Christmas. This is like the next uh, couple of days. We got a gift card for my brother. So we took that and we went more shopping. They loved it. Um, <laughs> just pick that one up. You can see I embellished on the actual picture here. So now this is Christmas morning. There's the Christmas morning got three pages. Um, and it all ties together. So... All I, I basically said, what do I want to use for background? Because the one, the page that I used, I was like, oh, I like it. But it was hard to kind of move the pictures around in the space that was there because there was some wording there. And I really originally wanted to use the wording. And I was like, forget it. I'm going to, I'm not going to like make myself crazy trying to use what they have. I'm just going to use what I want. So I cut out some Christmas trees. <laughs> one here, one here. One here, one here. This is from Simple Stories. I did a lot of ticket layering that I uh, posted um, after I figured out how to really cut these out. That looks good. This one's called Christmas Morning. It should be Christmas Morning Part 1 because it was like, you know, the baby's about to do a somersault and the kids are really crazy and they haven't really attacked it yet, <laughs> you know. This just says uh, December 25th. Oh, oh, what fun Christmas with a little um, paper clip. Christmas tree paper cup. This is a freebie cutout from Heidi Swap that I printed. Now this, I just did this yesterday. Uh, this past week, I should say. 
this is like my favorite page. I waited to do this in the end, and I'm really happy at how it turned out. First of all, I did a little banner, a movable banner. The H and the A are tacked down, and then I have um, Tiny attached these two, um, the two ends. So basically, it's what you see. It's kids opening their gifts. Um, T played with his blocks the entire day, like all day. And that's what the journaling says there. They just basically played the entire day, didn't have to do anything but play, and they did it in the living room the whole day. And um, I just continued with that whole Christmas tree um, look from here. One, two, three here. Then I did one, two here. Another little one here. So three here. And then three also here. Which actually now I didn't even know that I had done three for all of them. And I brought the washi tape from over here. And here, I brought it right over here. And I think I have a little... No, I don't have a little bit on this side. But that's okay because then it just kind of works together with... It links other things like the banner and like the banner... Um, twine is over here too so that's how this page is linked together also so this one i'm really happy with i really love this little banner i cut these out from simple stories um paper pad that i had and i just went ahead and tiny attached it the only thing is i used a little bit of washi tape on the back and i figured let's use washi tape that's appropriate to christmas because if they do turn around they don't look like you know like neon green and you know bicycles or something crazy it's all christmas washi tape underneath um this little wood ornaments I, this is like one of the last things i picked up at michael's um for like super on sale this christmas tree here i'm gonna zoom in a little bit because that one i did a little bit of uh coloring in with the stamping marker oops with the stamping markers gold cheer snow and then um I just like how this page came out. Look at this face. Okay, <laughs> let me continue. Okay, we're almost at the end. And the next few are going to be really quick because I've either done videos or talked about them enough on Instagram that you've seen them. So this is um, the layout for my Galaxy Note 3. It says straight off my wish list. That's a title. And it's just basically, it's the first time I did the watercolors. And I did the watercolors relating to the colors I saw on this little screen here, which are all the colors of the spectrum, but whatever. <laughs> um, I also did more of a tealy because I really wanted to use that joy um, one, but I've already talked about this one. So I'm going to move on to this one. This is December 26th. And, you know, baby and daddy were just really enjoying a nice, peaceful, relaxing afternoon watching the big boys continue to play and watching tv sam was like mid sleep there i took that picture and i just you know um did some snowflakes here did some banners now this little banner set here at the top kind of mimics what's going on down here with these little flags and that's why i did that up there okay let me get to the next to the last one i'm gonna have to hold it up because it would you can't really see it when it's down so this is the new year's nails that i did i did a layout i did a something no i don't think i did a process video but i i posted some pictures already on this one so i just love how my nails came out for new year's i actually got them done on the 24th and the day i did this layout was uh february 7th and i actually still had them on there <laughs> It was a long time in between um, <laughs> the nails. So that was just funny because of that. But anyway, I got my New Year's nails done right before Christmas because I was working and, you know, it, I was just able to go. So I had them before we went to church, which was nice. Um, and then the next one, you guys have seen this one. I did a lot of talking about this one. This is just the word of the year which is fun. So the word of the year I did, um, and that's kind of be going to be my theme for my layouts and, you know, what I'm going forward and doing for the year. So that's, I figured I'll do that. And this is on the back page. Cause that's that. This is on the back page and it totally works cause it's green, <laughs> you know, and the frame inside this picture that I, um, did that's actually hanging on my wall is in green so that totally worked i mean my girl green 
Um, and then I just did a couple of fun in different fonts. And this is for the coming year 2014. So that's it, guys. That is my Christmas smash book. There is no way that this is going to close. My plan is to leave it open, like find, you know, a page and leave it open. And then every now and then go to a different page and so it doesn't get dusty. Um, but that's it. I'm calling it done. I am going to do a few little hits and bits there, um, which is some of the stuff that I have. Oh, look, it's Vicky's little stick pen with little um, hits and bits that I have there that I haven't um, used up yet just to decorate a little bit of these pictures and stuff. But I'm not going to go crazy, so I'm going to call this one done. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. I want to say this is one of my longest videos. I hope you hung out for the end. Um, have a good rest of the day and share what your smash book looks like or some of your favorite uh, Christmas layouts that you were able to do. I know it's really late and you're like, Christmas, who wants to talk Christmas? But some people are still finishing up Christmas because I don't, during the Christmas month, during December, I don't have time to do that stuff. I do it after. I don't get to really scrap a Christmas until obviously after. All right, guys. And plus a lot of the stuff's on sale. So then, you know, you can kind of even do more. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions about anything you saw, please check below if I've linked a video or go ahead and comment below and ask me and I'll tell you as, as much as I can. Okay. Bye, guys.